Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market prep video for June 12th, 2020. Well, my goodness, yesterday we got reminded that no matter how much government stimulus is pumped out there, and no matter how much federal uh, or central bank um, operations, uh, you know, inject into the market that we still have to respect the bears. The bears suddenly roared back in an attack yesterday as concerns over coronavirus cases rising um, came back into the consciousness of traders and investors. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's grab ourselves something to drink and let's get ready for the Friday edition of the morning market prep video. So this morning we have another Big gap. Oh, big surprise, right? We have another big gap that we're facing here this morning. Um, today, it's going to be a gap up. So let's take a look at what's going on here in the chart and what we have to deal with. Now, first off, I want to point out that this sell-off really shouldn't have been a tremendous surprise. Um, the magnitude of the sell off is, was certainly a surprise, but the fact that we had kind of been ignoring everything in the market um, led to this big, um, big crack um, in the market. And there's been clues out there that um, there was trouble brewing in the price action. But let's take a look here. What actually occurred? Well, we suffered some considerable technical damage in the chart, breaking this very sharp uptrend, um, breaking it um, tremendously and pulling back into a level of price support here um, that I think everyone thought there's no way we could see that all in one day. Now one thing I want to point out here is that we have a longer term trend here that we're still holding and this would even suggest that even though we're getting a gap up we could eventually test that level of support. So don't get into the idea that this is all over just yet. The volatility of the market would suggest that anything is really possible. So kind of keep that in mind. We are gapping up significantly this morning. We're, we are popping back higher in a overnight gap again. And that possibility that we could push back um, that the bears are not likely, they haven't been around very much, but they're unlikely to give up uh, very easily, particularly when we get news, you know, such as we heard this morning that Arizona is actually reaching capacity on hospitalizations for Corona. So kind of a interesting situation that we have to deal with. And heading into the weekend, we have considerable uncertainty to kind of think about here in the market. So um, watch that closely. We could expect quite a little volatility. Now let's take a look at the moving averages here on the chart and see what we can come up with here on these averages. I'm gonna remove all of my drawings. One of the things that we suffered in a substantial technical damage yesterday is we failed, the Dow failed the 200 day moving average. And um, of course, any rally back, we could run into those as resistance levels in the chart. We need to think about that possibility. We could hit those resistance levels. We're now only about 850 points to the 50 day moving average. And I know everyone probably is like, oh my gosh, that, that just can't happen. But let's remember that it can. It can happen. And um, the fact that we um, moved so closely to it yesterday really lends the idea that the possibility of that occurring has risen considerably. So keep that in mind. And remember that even if we if we draw this longer term trend, that's just a test of that 50 day moving average in that area. So we could bounce around in here, but we may ultimately test that 50 day moving average. So keep an eye on that possibility. Now this morning, I'm going to jump to IWM 
to um, also display that same kind of technical damage. We failed at the 500 day moving average. We dropped substantially through that 200 day average. And you can see even with this gap up this morning, we run that potential risk that we could find price resistance here in the chart and continue to move down toward that, that um, to, uh, excuse me, 50 day moving average. Now let's keep in mind that the technical damage in here was really not all that bad and it shouldn't have been that big a surprise that we had kind of really extended this um, rally into kind of stupid levels, honestly, um, in this ravenous run up in the market. And when we do that, we, we suffer these ugly, ugly pullbacks. So kind of keep that in mind that we may not be done with this and expect the volatility to continue to show substantial um, um, whips and moves here for the next, well, probably several trading days as we kind of grapple with these uncertainties here in the market. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now the SPY did not suffer nearly the technical damage of the other charts. And one of the reasons is, is it is so heavily laden with the big tech firms, the big tech firms that are calling the big five, I've been calling the big four, but really the big five, um, dominate you know, a, a good 20% of this index. And while we saw the majority of the index, the vast majority of the index selling off tremendously yesterday, those big tech giants did its job um, defending um, um, even a stronger sell-off here in um, the SPY. So let's take a look here. SPY pulled back to its bigger trend. Not a big surprise here, but we did hold on to that 200 day moving average. That could save us um, an awful lot for in the diamonds and IWM if we get a substantial bounce back and hold of that 200 day moving average. That could be the technical savior here in the market. However, let's not forget that the bears are hungry. They haven't been fed for a long time and they may continue to push and with the uncertainty that we're seeing may not be that big of stretch to kind of consider that we could fail that 200 day moving average and even see um, that 50 be tested here before um, the sell off is, is complete. So kind of keep that in mind um, as you plan um, your weekend ahead and how you may want to handle. Remember, we can probably, in fact, it's, it's almost a given, right? We're gonna see some kind of gap on Monday. Um, it kind of depends on what happens over the weekend. Will it be another gap up or will it be a substantial gap down? We don't know. And um, that's the uncertainty that we're dealing with now is all of these overnight institutional driven, huge, massive gaps that trap traders in either uh, uh, trap traders long or trap traders short. So be really careful. And remember, trying to revenge trade, to jump back in on this and revenge, I got to hurry up and get this money back that I lost yesterday can be one of those situations where you just make the problem worse. Let's t stop and take a breath. All right, the market is a very, very emotional place right now. Stop and take a breath and think about how you can protect yourself in this market. Remember, we don't have to trade every day and we don't have to be throwing money, good money after bad, chasing around a very emotional market. So consider that carefully and watch this very closely. Wait for better trade signals instead of re just responding or reacting to these great big gaps on the daily basis. Let's take a look at um, the, the NASDAQ. Now the NASDAQ suffered the least of the damage um, in the chart. And as a matter of fact, if we show up here, this rather large extended trend still uh, continues to hold here in the market. One technical damage that we did um, suffer is here. Let me just make sure this is a nice straight line so that you can see that. We did suffer 
a breakdown of these all-time highs. Now, that's not un, uh, you know an untypical thing to see when we break through a resistance level like that, that we eventually return and test it as support. Sadly, we broke down below it, but it looks like this morning we are going to gap back above it. So let's watch this area right in here. It is entirely possible those bears will fight back, and we could see that little bit of dance around in here and then that possibility that we slip back below there. Remember, the weekend is going to provide a little bit of uncertainty and a lot of traders, investors may be thinking, hmm, let's just stay on the sidelines um, until we get through this weekend and see what that looks like. So watch that close. Let's take a look at the VIX. The old VIX really rallied big time yesterday and uh, breaking the downtrend. Now, here's the concern that we have in this chart, and I've been mentioning this for a while. Once it's not so much um, a big deal that we break a downtrend, what's going to be important is if we happen to hold above that downtrend as support. So, breaking above sharply in this shocking move and a pullback in here, keep in mind that we could see this pullback today come back and test the 50 day moving average of the VIX and hold that as support. So, if we somehow find um, that the bears are strong enough, that we can't move that fear all the way back down, that we find that higher low in here. That's where the real selling could begin. So kind of keep that in mind. If we hit that level and bounce back up or find a support in here above that downtrend, that's where some additional selling could come in. So kind of keep an eye on that closely. If we take a look at... Um, what we have going on here, you know, I've been talking about this possibility that us, us finding some support down here along this area. And we certainly got that in a big way yesterday. And now surging back up um, above a 40 handle, pretty painful here for the market. So this pullback this morning, let's watch that close and make sure it doesn't find some support in here someplace along the way. All right, watch it carefully. Let's take a look at um, our uh, T2122. T2122 is that four week new high, new low ratio. And I've been mentioning this over and over and over and over and over to be very, very careful because we were pinned up here in this bearish reversal. I certainly couldn't have predicted or wouldn't have predicted any kind of sell off like we had. But it was certainly set up for that possibility. And when we ignore these warning signs, it's when those big, big um, moves occur. So kind of keep that in mind. Now, what we also want to keep in mind is that we stretched this um, short-term oversold condition pretty hard. We pushed really, really hard in a one-day move um, back down here. But let's keep uh, make note that we didn't actually make it down here into the bullish reversal zone. So this morning we're gapping back up, and I would suspect that gap back up will be pretty large. But let's keep in mind that possibility that we could slip all the way back down here before we hit that bearish or bullish reversal zone and actually make that move back higher. So don't rule out the possibility that, that the selling may not be over yet. We may have to bounce around a little bit before it continues, so watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar today. We do have a few things to make note of in our economic calendar, but nothing that is really substantial today overall. Darn it, I picked that. Pick that up again. Didn't mean to do that. Um, as you can see, we have... Um, Import export prices here this morning at 830. That could move us around a little bit. I wouldn't expect it to be substantial. And then we have consumer confidence um, coming out as well. And consumer confidence has remained relatively strong, even with all of the uncertainties and craziness out there in the market. So keep an eye on those. They may not be a major factor for today, but just be aware 
that we have those to deal with um, today. On the earnings front, we have about 30 companies reporting earnings, but most of those companies are the, the tiny, tiny small caps, not much happening there on that earnings front. But we do have one that I've kind of picked out uh, that may be a bit notable, uh, PRTY is one we might want to keep an eye on um, but other than that there really isn't much out there on the earnings front to be worried about today um, unless you you know happen to hold one of those um, those companies so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading and i want to wish you all great success and if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you guys could do me a favor if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And hopefully you're seeing that um, even though I kind of have to repeat things over and over, those warnings over and over, there is reason for those warnings and there's reason why we need to respect price action. Price is the most important thing and it's in an extremely emotional market like we have right now. Price is really the only thing that can protect us um, in a market like this. So if we stay very, very focused on that price action, we can, um, we can protect ourselves in a crazy wild market like this that's likely going to continue in this crazy wild fashion for um, a, a considerable time with the uncertainties that we deal with, um, have to deal with in the market. So thank you everyone who takes the time to click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And I apologize. The last couple of days I've been so extremely busy. I'm actually preparing to uh, make a move for my daughter, helping her, uh, my daughter and her uh, husband move, uh, my son-in-law move. Um, and so I've just been extremely busy here the last couple of days, but I will try to um, answer as many of those comments as I possibly can. So let's take a look at some stocks that, well, I gotta tell you guys, there's, I, I can't be really um, trying to promote it to the, that this morning is a great day to buy because we're likely to experience an awful lot of volatility this morning. So I want you to be really, really careful um, about that. But there are some places that I'm going to be paying attention to and watching pretty closely. One of those will be like the energy sector. Now the energy sector we know um, suffered substantially yesterday and broke that trend. But that energy sector is one of those areas where we know that OPEC is cutting production rate or cutting production and oil and gas prices are likely to rebound back higher, assuming that we can recover this economy, that coronavirus doesn't um, cause us more trouble. So I'll be watching um, energy sector stocks for an opportunity to maybe pick up um, some profit on this big sell-off that we've seen here. We'll watch that closely. Also, I will be watching financials. Um, Financials really suffered heavily um, yesterday, really pulling back strongly, but we found a little bit of price support right in here. And you can see those financials are trying to gap up this morning. Broke that downturn. I wouldn't want to suggest that you want to just dive in um, um, with the idea that we could not sell off more because I believe we can sell off more. But we'll want to watch those financials. And if we're going to recover in the market, we're really going to need those financials to participate overall here in the market. So watch those closely. That may be a place to find uh, something to trade. Other places that we might be able to find some of that security would be in some of these defensive sector stocks. Now, even those had a pretty substantial sell-off yesterday, but these defensive sectors sector stocks are stocks that we we run to because we look for these good dividend yields and things like that. So keep an eye on some of those defensive sectors. They Some of them suffered pretty badly. Some of them um, 
held up pretty well you know one of those uh, like Kroger held up really well yesterday in that defensive sector it had popped up initially and pulled back but it's still holding in here overall and holding kind of a level of support kind of chopping over toward its trend and it's looking like it's gapping up this morning so you might want to look for places like that where we might be able to hang on you know also places where we have seen um, these chrono virus stocks um, hold up very, very well, um, like Dollar General. Dollar General has held up very, very well and looks like it might be gapping up a little bit this morning. Those have been pretty strong. Stocks like Home Depot suffered a pretty substantial pullback, but they may get a bounce back up here because um, they've been very beneficial uh, because of the coronavirus, they've seen a lot of sales going on there. So those kind of stocks might come back a little bit faster. You might also look to some of these pay systems. You know, we had SQ um, sell off pretty substantially yesterday, but it's popping back up. And overall, it is held in this consolidation range. So there still may be an opportunity here to see some see some upside opportunity in a trade like that now other places take a look at nvidia nvidia got a pullback pretty substantial pullback but tech continues to hold up very very strong and you can see nvidia looking for a gap up this morning there may be some opportunity there and you may even find some in other stocks like intel even though intel really suffered heavily yesterday um, it is trying to move back up just slightly this morning so look to some uh, maybe some of those tech areas um, in these charts if you're looking for that long trade other than that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic weekend and don't feel ashamed if you feel like look i would rather just set this out and not um, fiddle around in a market that is so incredibly emotional and remember we have that opportunity as traders to live the lifestyle of a trader and when the market is crazy like this you know we can just shut off our computers and start our weekend early early and enjoy our life rather than being in here fighting uh, this tremendous volatility. So kind of keep that in mind. Give yourself a break once in a while and enjoy the lifestyle of a trader. Everyone, I want to wish you all the very, very best and we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Have a great weekend, everyone.